Experiment 11. The Phenomena of Total Internal Reflection in a Right-Angled Prism Objective To study the phenomena of total internal reflection in a right-angled prism and its use to deviate a ray through 90 degree. Apparatus required A right-angled prism A soft board Drawing pins Common pins A protractor And white sheet of paper Theory PQR is a right angle prism with angle PQR equal to 90 degree. OA is a ray incident normally on surface PQ of the prism. Since this ray strikes normally to the surface PQ, it passes undeviated and will strike on the other surface PR of the prism at B. BN is the normal on surface PR at B. Since the ray AB incident at an angle which is greater than the critical angle 42 degree for the air glass surface, the ray suffers total internal reflection and will be reflected with an equal angle of reflection 45 degree. The deviation suffered by the incident ray OA due to the total internal reflection by the prism is expressed in terms of the angle of deviation delta. Procedure Fix the given white sheet of paper on the soft board using thumb pins. Place the given right angled prism on the white paper. Mark its outline. Mark the three edges of the prism as PQR. Remove the prism and mark a point A on face PQ approximately at the center of side PQ of the prism. Draw a line OA normal to face PQ at A. Fix two pins P1 and P2 in erect and vertical positions on the line OA. Look from side QR of the prism and bring your eye in line with the two images of pins P1 and P2. Fix another pin P3 towards the side QR in a position such that when seen through the prism, the pin P3 is exactly in line with the two images of pins P1 and P2 as shown in the diagram. Use the same procedure to fix the fourth pin P4 in line. Remove the pins and mark the position by encircling the dots created by the pins in the paper. Remove the prism and draw a line by joining the positions of pin P3 and P4 and produce it to meet the side PR of the prism at B. Also, join AB. Measure the angles BAQ and BCR and record them. Draw a normal BN at B on side PR of the prism and measure the angles ABN and CBN and record their values. Record your observations as follows. Conclusions Since the angle with the prism surface by which the ray gets refracted from the first surface is 90 degree, it implies that the ray which strikes the prism surface normally passes undeviated. Since sum of angle I and R is 90 degree, the total deviation suffered in ray incidence normally on one face of a right angle prism is found to be 90 degree. Precautions Fix the pin erect and vertical on the soft board. Keep a minimum gap of 45 cm between the common pins. Keep your eye at least 3 to 4 feet from the prism while looking through the prism 